Yeah, yeah, they solid, man. They solid, man. Ooh, we, 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 we oh, you already song. know the sneaker twins, man. Global word, Soul, word. baby. So, Global so they got, like, Soul. Anything, anything you need? Yeah, I get all my kicks, man. Ooh, if you need them, they got them. Word. Check it. New gear, check, new fit. Check, check, all I need now is some new shoes. Check, check the stove. Don't got them. I already know who to go to. Sneaker twins, my plug. Kicks fresh, that's right. Compliments go up. Now everybody be like, whoa, hey. Let's let them know what we're doing here. And they, they see us, but I mean, is that what they really want to see, or do they want to see this right here? Yeah, I think they, I, this, this is ridiculous right here. Yeah, it is. It's stupid. It is. it is. So this is Shopping with Soul, episode one. Uh, I, it's a whole lot of heat on the wall. So specifically, what, what, if you was to grab something off the wall today, what, what would you guys cop today? What would be the first thing you would cop? Hello. Talk through hello, once. hello, hello. Talk through once for me. I already know. I just told. I just told you guys. We're out, cop. I just told you, man. So <laughs> this is mine. Okay. This is what I'm copying. I'm copying this, man. You copying the Oregon phone? Oregon phone. Oh, that's a good one. Good. See, I, I already, I already got my babies on my feet, so you know yeah. I gotta go with my number two. Okay. okay. <laughs> I throw the gamblers in there. Alright, man. Right. So this is all the shoes we copied, man. What, what you got there, bro? Top three ones. I think this is a mixture of the Chicago's. The Breads and the Royals, yeah. which is crazy because I like to do something ridiculous and, and wear like separate shoes or whatever. Right. But it's like separate shoes in one right here. Just right. those different color laces come with come with three different laces on this, and I mean it's just ridiculous. Like exactly. this what's the resale value on that thing, man? man. An arm and a leg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So of course, man, mine is the. Uh, the Oregon phones, man, and if you don't know, man, the Nike headquarters is in Oregon. So of course, you know, Nike uh Oregon's gonna Oregon, the University of Oregon's gonna have yeah, the best that. the best PEs and the best colorways, man. So I definitely think this is one of the uh fires phones that ever came out because of the uh you know the speckles in it. If you look at it, it got the uh speckles in there. So definitely thinking thinking the or Oregon ducks, man. I'm definitely going with those. Oh, Bread of Lavins, just told you guys it's the best thing Jesus created in himself. It's a Bread of Lavins, 2012. Uh, best shoe ever, man. So this is what I'm grabbing. Resale value on these probably uh, right at 300 now because they're releasing the, re-releasing again. So they're right at 300. They don't drop a bit. But uh, we're getting these this year. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully we get that Stitch 23 this year, man. So well, me being that. me, everybody know I'm a, I'm a big Jordan 11 fan. You know, I got my Space Jams on, so... My next pickup will be the Gammas, you know, just because I'm a 11 fan. It's not really, it's not really a specific reason. It's just I love 11s. But also, what y'all don't know is we have the Spider-Man ones, so I'm gonna throw that out there so you can get them. And they come with a exclusive box. You should really look on into it. Lopeso.net. <laughs> just a little promo, cause like, yeah. these these joints are really hot, and a lot of people are slept on them, like bad. So what's the most expensive shoe we have up here? What you oh. guys think? Man? What you guys think? Oh, I see yeah. some is going for 700 800 He already knows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would say, yeah. So flawed one, come on, man. You're right, Miami. Of Miami. Born and raised, county of Dade. Man, got the 305 on the inside. Got the state of Florida, you can't even see it, but the state of Florida on the inside. Miami Hurricane colorway with the black. This this shoe right here is just on a whole nother level. I would say, yeah, unless you're throwing these DBs right here. <laughs> <laughs> or them Shattered Bat Boys. I'm about to say the Shattered Or them Gallus. I mean, it's heat, bro. It's heat. What a fire thing to shat. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, that, this is another one a lot of people sleep on, these Shattered Bat Boys. Like, yeah. Bro, these is probably like one of the... Quality-wise, bro. I was going to say, Good. I would say like as far as like with like the bread the band ones the bread ones and stuff like that quality these are okay. stupid like you literally can put these on you can hoop in them beat them up do whatever you want to do and that quality is still there you can put them you can you can wipe them off put them back on you feel like you still got a brand new pair of sneakers it's just the quality with these are just stupid but it ain't no shoes no sneakers Nike don't release that you can beat up more than the phone posits. Right. The sure. ones and the pros, these are the ones right here. And the, I mean, just look at them. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't even gotta say too much about them. Shout out to Penny Hardaway, man. Yeah. Good sure. grief, these, yeah, he, these he, right he, here. Hey. Not necessarily like 
some people say they heavy or whatever, but I mean they durable. Man, what y'all think about these, bro? Huh. Like, no. <laughs> what, what we talking about? The no, Homer Simpsons. No. <laughs> wow. No, I swear to God, those are the shoes the Homer Simpson had on in the episode. Man, but that's the fight. That's the what a lot of people don't know. This, 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 this is the fire one. Yeah, that's the, the best. Color. That's the God, best colorway. Like, that's the best colorway. But, but without a doubt, that's the best colorway. But in all honesty, man, man it's, it's, it's one of them. It's one of them shoes where like. You wouldn't get it for like a fashion statement. No, yeah, just get them for like comfort. for comfort and like. I mean, they're not. They're they're ugly, but they're not like. It's a it's, it's a dad <laughs> shoe, bro. Right? It's, it's an epitome of a dad shoe. But I wouldn't wear them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you wear it for that. You know how funny that boost is. What's up, man? What's up, man? See what we call canal. Yes, sir. Yeah, bro. Yes, sir. Partner V in the building. Hey, man. Look, we're gonna jump right into it, man. And with the questions and stuff, man. Hey, look, DJ Part of V, man. You know we've been we go way back, bro. Yeah, we go way back to the club field days, man. Right, so yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> they don't know nothing about that, man. But uh, yeah, man, let's uh let's jump right into it, man. What kind of uh like shoes and things did you look for? Because you a DJ, you always in the you know, open and always on the scene, man. As far as fashion goes and shoes yeah. goes, what do you look for, man? Uh man, it's right now, man, I'm really Really into to Air Max right now, man. Of course, joints, man. Y'all got me there. You know, y'all got me addicted to shoes again. You know, at one point, like, I really, I was just just moving around, you know what I'm saying? I really, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever we're gonna go, you know what I mean? But most definitely, Air Max, I, my first go to, you know what I mean? I've been wearing Air Max like all my life. So, the joints as well, so, you know. It's just, you know, whatever, whatever I can, I can get to go with this car, can you feel me? Oh, yeah, I'm putting on that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we, oh, we were talking earlier. Um, and uh, we was all talking about our, our favorite sneaker of all time. It doesn't have to be a Jordan exactly, but like your favorite sneaker that ever was released. That you, it was a oh, must man. have that you had to have. Oh man, that shit tough. Man. Yeah, man, it's yeah, a yeah, tough yeah, one. Right? Tough, man. It will give you a chance uh, to think about it, but man, yeah, that's a tough one, man. I, mean, I can't even I can't even tell you uh, a specific brand, you know, because I mean it kind of changes, you know what right. I mean, like you know. With the time, you know, I can't, man, that's all. All right, we'll come back to that one. Yeah, we'll come back to that one. So, man, like, uh, I know you're on the road and all the time, like, you go to Washington and stuff like that, yeah, man. Yeah. Um, you're on the road all the time. So, what's one shoe that you just have to have with you? Like, when you go on the road, it's the one shoe, like, I gotta take it with me. Look flops. <laughs> on, on the plane. Yeah, don't. Yeah, on the plane. Don't. On don't. the plane. Yeah. So, you gotta have flip flops. I yeah. like that, man. My first flight. I was fully dressed, fully dressed like this, man. I learned, man, going through TSA, man, they undress you. You gotta take everything out, man. So I'm gonna definitely some flip flops okay. on the road for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good answer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, dope. that's dope, right? That's dope. I did not think about it either. That's dope, though, like, bro. That's, that's, that's organic as hell, man. Like, I, everywhere I go, I. I, I throw my Nike on my Jordan slides. Man, everybody, got, everybody got a pair of slides, right? Slide yeah, everybody. Just, everybody. I just didn't think about that. You ain't gonna walk around the hotel room barefoot. Right, right, right. right, right. right. <laughs> we already talked about the towels and exactly. shit. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't watching the floor. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Yeah, that's dope, man. Yeah, that's, man. Dope. that's dope. So, like, as far as, like, being on the scene, like, again, man, we go back into the uh, club scene, man. What do, uh, what do you feel like? Others are looking for man. It's, you, like I said, because you're always on the scene. What do you feel like other people are looking to you for, being in the DJ scene, being in the DJ business? As far as like, not with the music you're gonna play or anything, but how do you think the, do the, uh, do you think they view you? Uh, you mean as far as uh, like fashion, fashion or anything? Fashion, anything? man. I think um, I pretty I pretty much how I branded myself early on, you know. When I came out, a lot of DJs really wasn't, you know, really wasn't dressed. Not saying they couldn't dress, but they didn't really, they really didn't care, you know what I'm saying? They just have a shirt with their name on it or just a hoodie or something, man. I, like, I made sure every time I came out, man, I probably had something new. I was taking a lot of pictures. I went with it and twice, you know what I mean? Not saying I wouldn't do it now, but it's just like, I got to have something, something new, you know? Every time, you know, it's a brand, you know? Right, right, right. At the same time, you know what I'm saying? You want to be set apart, right? Yeah. Right, right, yeah, most man. definitely. And I, right, made, I made a name for that, you know what I'm saying? Probably being one of the biggest DJs in Mike Georgia. Right, right. Uh, it's kind of, it kind of repeats itself, you know what I'm saying? Like, it goes like, like when I first started, man, it was certain, certain shoes that was out, and then they, they kind of went away, like, mm, just a whole bunch of shoes, man, it just repeats itself, like. Sort of like brands. Kind of like forces. Forces. forces or like yeah, forces most definitely. Eli. They were, they, 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 was, 
Air Max. <laughs> Air Max. More up tempo. I didn't do the uh, felines, but um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, it repeats itself. Man. Even the, even even. Bro, even the car can not shirt you got on now. Yeah. Bro, that shit's coming back hard, bro. Yeah, yeah that's like, what I mean. That's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. You know? The shit repeats itself, yeah, like, bro. Like, I know when we were coming up, man, like we were talking about this earlier back in our day, like we we rock starter champion. Like we right. rocked that Thanks. back in the day. Thanks. And back in the day, nobody was really on it. It was, it was one of the things that people Thanks. were like, nah, I don't wear that. Thanks. You know, because back in, back in our day, everybody was just t-shirts and right. Air Force One. Right. But then again, yeah. bro, you got to think, starter, you know what I'm saying, champion. That was damn near all our folks could afford. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> right. We weren't wearing no Gucci or nothing yeah, but like now, that. Yeah, but now it's back on the scene. Like it just it's back like, on the scene at a higher price, but yeah, the, the, the star that we got, you know what I'm saying, the OG shit we, we got. We go right there to the now. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, right there to we the beach the and Byron. Energy. You get the, bu- the Bugle Boy, yeah, the freaking right. Duckhead. I just seen him do with a Duckhead shirt on the other day. I'm yeah. like, can't you beat that? Yeah, I mean, nowhere yeah. now. Yeah. Nowhere exactly, now. It's right. nowhere to be found. It's all vintage, not as weird. Right. right? And you know that's that's what we're Duck talking about. You, you get lucky, yeah. man. Okay, Tommy Hill. Yeah, that's what we're from. I had a Memphis only jacket on, and a, and a dude stopped me at the gas station trying to buy yeah. it off me. I'm like, see stuff like that. Nah, Duckhead, Duckhead, Memphis only, and stuff like that, man. That's why I, I I normally find that when I do my thrift store shopping. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I still thrift shop, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. who knows? People, people thrift shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you you can find some swag in the thrift store, man. Yeah, yeah, you can, man. You can. You gotta you gotta swag yourself up, man. Different stuff that you can do, but I went like man, you know I went to school, with you, you know. So like you always been fly, but like what what um what really influenced your like your thrive to become a DJ? Like what what man. made you want to DJ? Like I know you always love music. You know that you know this. It actually started with you know with the band. You know yep. what I'm saying with the band. I got I got the band uh seventh grade seventh grade man. That was around the time John Line came out all that man. It's just, I just didn't look back. I mean I was definitely. On music prior to, you know what I'm saying, listening to music all the time. I can't go a day without listening to music, but that definitely played a part in me becoming a DJ. My music IQ, like if it wasn't for the band, I probably wouldn't know, you know all the old music I know, you know what I'm saying, all the old school, you know what I mean? Of course, I know the new school music, man, but that definitely played the big, a big part. I got an interesting question for you, too, as well. Yeah. Um, so, being that you are one of the hottest DJs in the city, mm-hmm. um, what's the one song that you have seen, like, People just turn up to that you play like this your go to song. See, man, that's the same question that Baba asked me about them shoes, man. It's, right. like, it's hard it, to say, right? Because yeah. that changes mm-hmm. with that it, it changes. changes with your, your crowd, your atmosphere, right? It, right? Yeah, it changes with the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. But you know, a new song, it's a new song every year, a new hot mm-hmm. song, right? Pretty much every quarter, right? You know what I mean? Right. It just, it, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can give you one, right? Like that, that that's just generational. That's, like, just, that yeah. sticks with any generation. Any generation, any generation, man. I can like. It depends on the club, I say that, but if, say I'm in, if I'm in an environment with with young people and older people, man, it, you can go old school, man. I can go I can go Frankie Beverly Mays in any place, you know what I'm saying? And from the younger to the older, they know that that's a, that's a good one. Right. You know, whether I'm at a wedding reception or just at a cool club, you know what I mean? Right, right. Not the hood spot, though, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, like, I was thinking of one, like, that would be like generations is like that nook if you buff. Right? Nook if you buff is a good one. That's yeah. a good one. That's a good one. But I can't play that at the hood spot. You can't play that and set it off. Set it off. Set it off. Really set it off. What was that? Throw it up with my little John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time that song comes up. Since you mentioned the band, are you still like, because you know, most of, most of my friends, like you know, everybody at home with all y'all was in the band. So, just coming up, um, this is the only question I want to ask you. Do you still want to fight the same dude that swung on that cannon in the movie? I hate <laughs> 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 I actually seen some rock footage of him. He, what school did he go to? I think he, um, he was actually. Because he was actually really in the band. Right, right, right. I seen like some rock footage of him. Right, yeah, 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 most definitely, man. What did you play in the Still got to keep Let everybody know, what, what, what was your instrument in the band? I played my first, my first year, um, my freshman year, I played uh, a tenor drum. My, fr- my freshman year, half of my sophomore year, and I, I moved to tenor drum after that. Okay. So yeah. are you still musically inclined? You still, if you, like, if you went and played in the band, could you still? Yeah, I, I yeah. pretty much remember everything that I played. Like, because my, my, my son had sticks, my, um, my nephew had sticks. Right. 
I actually gave my son my last my last piece I had in high school. He still had them all. They somewhere right now. But I can still play pretty much uh, anything that, that I played in high school. But like now I see on Instagram, man, them guys like yeah, doing, them guys they doing they do a whole lot, man. So let, let me ask I, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely still tapping into all that. You know what I mean? I still let me ask watching. you this, man. What's up, bro? Since we went to Northeast, uh -huh. you was in the band. What was your favorite thing to play? Well, my favorite. Uh, your the favorite thing to play. My favorite cadence band. or my favorite song? Just period. Kate, uh, Kate. Uh, <laughs> man, it's another hard question, man. Uh, uh, I say uh, something that we played uh, all the way through my my four years, man. I say Duck Mouth. You familiar with Duck Mouth? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Duck Mouth. Yeah, that's, that's something everybody played, but that's one that we had on our four years. You know what I mean? While I was here, I say Duck Mouth. But the music, man, I just love playing. Like anything, man. You know what I'm saying? If I can go back to that, I would. You know what I mean? Cool. All right, man. So, you know, this is definitely about sneakers. So, let's get into the sneakers a little bit, man. Uh, so let's let's go Jordan man wise and uh, what do you look for what colorways uh, do you like I know this personally because you know we talk all the time but uh, let the people know man what what Jordan uh, what's your favorite Jordan and what you look for as far as colorways though uh, colorways man I'm start with that man we talk about that man you know like putting colors together like like these colors like red and blue red blue black yellow like you know what I'm saying colors like that I love colors like that you know what I'm saying putting together but as far as my favorite Jordan. I really, I pretty much like every number all the way up to 12. I've never had a joint at 12. At the 12, I, 13 is all right, but I, at the 12, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go. I think like in high school, my favorite joint probably was probably nines. Okay. You missing out. I had a couple. <laughs> I mean. If you're going over 12, you missing out. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't not. You're not a joint fan. I'm you're saying, not I'm saying, not saying that I didn't like any joints at the 12. Mm -hmm. I just didn't like. They, you know what I'm saying? I kind of veered off at so it, You pretty much the same with me. 12 was pretty much rock star. Yeah. My favorite Jordan was 10, first, 11, and 12. My first Jordan was a 12. Right. That's in okay. second grade. Okay. Mine was in 11. Grade. Mine was the 11. So just, you know, just to go off the sneaker topic or whatever, um, one more thing I want to ask you. What is your definition of success as far as, like, you know, success wise? Like, you know, what is your definition of, of success? Oh, uh, man. Just, um, Pretty much, man, getting in, the, uh, getting in a comfortable position, man, to provide, you know what I'm saying, provide for your family, you know, well, pretty much what I'm looking at right now. I, I mean, I know I can go hard and, and, and do more things, but but definitely, man, being in a position to provide, man, to put people on, put people on, you know, I want to do that, I'm right. doing that, you know what I mean? Right. But, um, yeah, pretty much that. Right, yeah, because I, I would say definitely, to piggyback off, it, it would definitely be ele elevation, mm -hmm. um, you know, Putting people in in the right position to elevate, right, man. Right. As far as, as long as you, you know, like like you said, like J Cole was saying in um, the Middle Child song, he like, you know, what I'm saying, um, what good would you be if you didn't put your, your brothers on, with the people around you on, and yeah. elevate the people around you? Because that's the only as good as you are as the people around you. So exactly. we definitely got to do better at that. So man, we're gonna walk over to the wild and let you pick some shoes. And uh, hey, man, just tell us what you want, man. Okay. All right, man. Let's go. Man, let's get to the walls, just pick out what you like, man. Okay. Alright. Yeah, man, I like the uh definitely like the Concords, you know what I mean? I bought these a couple weeks ago, you know what I mean? Uh classic, classic joint shoe. Top three, we got these as well. You know, that we talked about the colorways I like, man, you know, red, blue, white, yes, black, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely, definitely. You know. Uh yeah, I got these. These are the only uses that I like. Oh yeah, oh, show. Sure. Sure. Like the homers, bro. You like the homers, too? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 we were just oh, talking about those are the only ones. Right, if I was to get some easy, it would be these guys, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Show my show. Uh two it's like two more, man. Mm -hmm. Most definitely the infrareds. Got these as well. Oh yeah. You know. I think this this might be like one of my favorite numbers, five, you know what I mean? Might be one of my favorite numbers. I had a couple of these in high school or whatever. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Well, um, what's the name of these? I like these. Yeah, they're not for resale. They're not for resale ones, man. Yeah, oh, man. Of course. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like, not for resale. I think I seen, I thought, thought that was like off white or something, but. Yeah, yeah that, it, it actually took the off white branding. Nike said, okay, 
we're not gonna we're gonna take our partnership for all white and capitalize on it. So we said we're gonna we're gonna put the not for resale branded on it and be like, okay, we capitalizing off the off white, but we're not even giving all white credit. This is the first thing I thought when I seen them. I right. definitely like these. I might grab these. So. Huh?